Hey guys, I am very excited. I am on my way to a fan's house right now and I'm going to give them some of the new collection of my Fabletics January collection. So I'm very, very excited. And right now I'm in the car. Um, we're almost there and yeah, <laughs> I'm excited. So we'll see, but we have the fans house is coming up like right here. Her name, should I say her name? Okay, well, I don't know if I should say her name because I don't know if she's watching this, but I'm sure there's a lot of Nancys in the world, so I think it's fine, but her name is Nancy and hopefully she's not watching this, but if she is, there's a lot of Nancys in the world, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, we're going to her house right now and I can't wait to surprise her. So, um, yeah. I am wearing the Largo outfit. I got some seamless cute leggings on and um, a matching sports bra. Um, I think we're here actually, so I'm going to do this. I will see you guys in like five minutes, I don't know. <laughs> okay, bye. We got our new Fabletics bags. So that went really well. That was cool. And so much fun too. And now I am going to awkwardly sit here on live chat. Let's do some questions. You want some questions? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna answer some questions. Can you tell me what makes you feel most confident? What makes me feel most confident? I think getting in the gym and eating healthy makes me feel most confident because I'm taking care of my, not only my body, but my mind. And I think that's what makes me feel most confident. What's your favorite outfit from this collection? My favorite outfit is the outfit I'm wearing, the Largo er, outfit. Um, yeah, I, I love it. And I'm wearing the jacket from the Him outfit, too. So I like to mix and match. That's the cool thing about the collection is the colors go together so you can like put your favorite pieces with different outfits. What do you love most about Fabletics? what I love most about Fabletics. I love that they're empowering towards women. Um, you know, they, 
they have so many shapes, I mean, so many sizes for so many different body types. And I think that's really important. I think that it builds confidence in people that wear them. And I love the, the Girls Up Foundation. I think that's really, really awesome. Um, and um, yeah, so that's what I love about Fabletics. All right, let's switch gears for a second and talk about the hottest topic on the planet right now, tour. What are you hottest doing topic to prepare? On the planet. Um, what I'm doing to prepare for tour is, well, I want to, you know, like focus on my cardio and get my cardio up so I don't run out of breath while I'm singing. That's like the most important thing about tour for me is, um, you know, staying active while singing. And so I'm in the gym and luckily they play the music very loud so nobody can hear me sing. Um, but yeah, so I'm just doing that and I'm also like mentally prepping for it, doing some meditation, trying to get everything, all the pieces of the puzzle right so that when I go out on the road, I stay in a really good state of mind and um, have the right people around me. Speaking of your playlist and working out, what's on your workout playlist? Okay, what's well, on my workout playlist right now is Bardier, Cardi B. She makes me so happy. And... Um, also another Cardi B song right now is the remix of Finesse, the Bruno Mars songs, or song. It's so good and I'm obsessed with it. So right now Cardi B is still killing it and still on my playlist. All right, rapid fire. What's your favorite tour memory? My favorite tour memory is probably when I went paintballing with my band, um, Nick, his band, um, some of the crew, uh, yeah, it was so much fun. I remember getting my security guard Max like right in the head. So that felt really good. All right, tell me about some of your New Year's resolutions. Some of my New Year's resolutions. Um, well, one would just be to maintain a solid, solid recovery, you know? Um, I've been doing really, really good with everything that I've struggled with over the past 10 years of my life and I feel like I feel very strong and empowered um, another resolution that I made was using my voice more so expressing my wants and my needs with the people around me my team um, because sometimes I feel like it can be hard to like express what you um, what you want or need because you you don't want to step on people's toes or you know I'm sometimes a people pleaser so I am speaking up and I that's I'm using my voice which is ironic because I use my voice for a living where do you find most of your inspiration for music and the clothing line most of my inspiration from for music and the clothing line a lot of it comes from the gym actually because I want to play stuff that I can work out to I also want to um, get like put together cute outfits and design outfits that are um, that I'm gonna feel good in when I'm in the gym. So a lot of it comes from um, my second home, my the gym. Why don't we should go through some of these uh, these, these outfits you wear in your okay. second home? Okay. So this is what I have on underneath my sweatshirt. This is the Largo sports bra. Um, these are pants from. Oops, I dropped them from the Clef collection. Ah, from the Clef Collection. Um, this also is from the Clef Collection. It's this really cute tank. It's got like a cutout in the back. I don't know if you guys can see it. I can't really do it with with one hand. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I got a hand. It's got like a cute, well you turn it around. Cute cutout in the back, which is really cute. And you can like have your sports bra peek through or no sports bra. I have some shorts from the Hem Collection, which actually go with this sweatshirt. And um, what else do I got in there? I got the Largo pants that I have on. Woohoo! We have the sports bra from the, oops, I dropped it, the Cradle Collection. And this is also from the Cradle Collection. It's a tank top. I actually have this, the tank top on underneath this sweatshirt because it's a little chilly out in LA today. Um, then we have the sweatshirt I'm wearing. So I think that's just about it. Do we have more? 
This is the same tank that I have on underneath the sweatshirt from the Credo collection. So, yeah, this is the new collection. Don't forget to hashtag Demi for Fabletics. Um, really important that you guys show me like what you feel comfortable in and what you guys like about the collection, what you don't like. You know, I loved hearing your feedback. So um, hashtag Demi for Fabletics so I can see how beautiful you guys look and hear all of your feedback. And now we are going to Allie's house. Hopefully Allie is not on this live chat. Although, like Nancy, there are lots of Allies in the world. So, um, yeah, we're gonna go to Allie's house right now. I'm pretty stoked. It's gonna be great. We have more Fabletics gear for her. And, um, do you guys have any questions on here that I can answer? This lighting is so weird. Got a nice little high pony today. Uh, there we go. Oops. <laughs> I'm not driving. <laughs> uh, what questions do you guys have? Well, Joshua Finn says, my daughters love you. Thank you for what you do. That's really, really sweet. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. And, um, yeah, that, you know, that means a lot to me. What will the third single be? What do you guys want the third single to be? I would love to hear your feedback. Although, don't forget, Tell Me You Love Me is out right now. Very important. Um, yeah, what other questions? When does your tour start? February 26th. So I'm very, very excited about that. It's the Tell Me You Love Me tour. How can I become a rapper by Sierra7109? You know what? Good question. If I was a rapper, I'd tell you, but I don't even know how to become a rapper myself. Lau5217 said, how old are you? I'm 25. About to be 26 this next year. I'm not about to be, actually. I have like eight months, but yeah. What lipstick are you wearing by Yuru J11? You have to ask Jill Powell, my makeup artist, because I have no idea. I just sit there and she puts makeup on me. Um, what else? Allie K, uh, Allie underscore K asked if I'm coming to Jamaica anytime soon. I would love to come to Jamaica sometime soon, but right now I don't have any plans. I am sorry. Um, what else? Do you guys have any more questions? I'm getting a lot of hellos. DD underscore low underscore va underscore toe. I'm taking, I'm guessing that a lot of the other ones were taken because that's some pretty detailed, uh, that's a pretty detailed name. Um, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling really good. I get to give back today, so that feels good. And, um, and it's all about Fabletics today, so I'm excited. And then I get to train some BJJ later, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, so I'm excited about that. I think we're almost here. I could be wrong. We're almost here. I got a thumbs up from Max. Say what's up, Max. What's up? You suck, Max. Love your work. Um, greetings from Venezuela. Hi. I love you guys. Oh, um, Benny18 asked, is Fabletics only online? No, it's not. There's Fabletics stores, so you can actually find one that's closest to you and go pick some up, try some stuff on, and also, of course, online. So, yeah. I'll also be doing an in-store soon, so January 27th. So, um, look up the information on that and come say hi. Um, we are circling... We are here, and who do you think is going to be more surprised, Allie or Nancy? I don't know. Nancy was pretty surprised, although Nancy came to the door with like the cutest a dress. Dog ever. Yeah, she was like dressed up pretty nicely, and the cutest dog ever. I hope that like Allie's in her sweatpants and has no idea. 
So we'll hopefully Allie is is more surprised because then we'd end it on a high note. But Nancy was pretty surprised too. I love that reaction. What else? Um, do you guys have any more questions? I'm getting a lot of hellos and please come to places. Um, what songs are you most excited to do on tour? The songs that I'm most excited to do on tour is probably Daddy Issues and Games. Um, those two songs are so much fun to rehearse and uh, Daddy Issues is really fun to perform live, so I'm excited about that. What do you guys want to hear on tour? Tell me some of the songs that you want to hear on tour, and maybe I'll add them to my set list. If you could cover any song, what would it be? It would probably be, right now, I'm obsessed with Never Be the Same by Camila Cabello. So, um, which got, who got her start on X Factor. And so I've known her for a really long time and I'm really proud of her. And um, I would cover that song. So I'm very excited. We're about to give Allie the second batch of Fabletics clothing. So here we go. She loved it and she was more surprised than Nancy, which was cool. Um, not that Nancy was bad at all. Nancy had a really great reaction. Um, yeah, so that went really well. Um, well, I'm going to wrap it up, you guys. I want to say thank you for watching. Um, thank you for loving Fabletics and for loving my music and just being incredible fans. Also, before I forget, um, the iHeart Radio Awards, I'm nominated for... Best music video, um, uh, best fan army, so Levotics, go get them. And, <laughs> and most importantly, Batman is nominated for cutest musician's pet. And he was telling me this morning, he was like, Mom, I really hope I win. It would mean so much to me. And I was like, well, you know what? Maybe if you win... Um, we'll celebrate with a party, a dog party. And so, you know, let's make that dog party happen, guys. Get online, vote for Batman. Levotics, vote for yourselves. And then vote for me. Uh, love you. Thank you. See you guys later. <laughs>